The Criminal Investigation Department visited the official residence of former Health Minister Kehili Rambukwala yesterday and recorded a statement for over seven hours. Attorney Manoj Kamage, a director of the National Medicines Regulatory Authority or the NMRA, explained the matter to the media yesterday. There is no evidence confirming that the minister is involved in this incident as of yet. He is the complainant. We also submitted video footage of how the minister questions the officials over how this supplier was handed over the tender and a about the procedure. Today, the Government Medical Officers Association questioned as to how a member of the Board of Directors of the NMRA can represent the former Health Minister. The CID has recorded a statement from the former Health Minister, but his attorney has said that this was a statement he recorded willingly. How are there such controversies? The same attorney is a member of the Board of Directors of the NMRA. So, where is this questioned? The Joint Council for Professionals of Supplementary Medicine also raised concerns regarding this matter. How can someone representing the authority regarding drugs and someone who is part of the board of directors directly appear for another who is facing allegations over the drug at his house? He is still part of the board of directors. Although the health minister, health secretary and the chairman of the NMRA changed, the same individual who made ridiculous claims about the loss of lives in the past made this statement today as well. The Government Medical Officers Forum also expressed views in this regard today. CID Former Health Minister Kehelia Rambukwala called the CID officers and recorded a statement at his residence regarding the immunoglobulin scam. He himself said he became the first complainant in August and therefore he cannot be an accused and he is a victim. Thieves in this country accuse each other and question who the thief is. That is what we must ask today. Who is the thief? <laughs> This is the stance of the movement for people's struggle. Usually, if someone is believed to have committed a crime or is a suspect, we know how the Sri Lankan police intervenes. They are dragged by the ear, beaten, held for days and forcibly interrogated. What happened yesterday, when substandard medicine and antibodies were imported and people were left to die, and when it was discussed in parliament, the minister said there are funeral parlours near hospitals for that reason. The CID recorded a statement from that minister within the comforts of his own home, behind closed gates. What was the statement that was recorded? The CID, police department and police spokesperson should tell the country what was revealed through the statement. Reveal all that information. The police spokesman responded to all these allegations. What happened was, the minister had informed the CID that he possesses evidence regarding this matter and he is able to hand them over to the CID. That was the request he had made. Based on that request, the officers of the CID went to his home yesterday to obtain the minister's statement. That was not... This was not a statement obtained by the CID through its own intent. It was something the minister provided willingly.